Hello, nerds, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. My name is Foxhead, and thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new here, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and hit that bell for notifications so you know when more series episodes like this one go up, and when I go live in the future as well. So, I did a lot of off-camera work. Um, if you missed the last episodes, by the way, make sure you check those out. The playlist will be in the description below. Um, off camera, I did a bunch of grinding work. Um, we are early 20s now in level. This is our egg carton. We got a whole bunch of new eggs. I know what a few of them are, but I don't know what all of them are. Um, so we'll see. Um, we explored... The entire new region, everything that we had access to, um, we did not have access to something. Something was blocked off uh, down here, yeah. But we explored this, we explored this, like we explored everything we possibly could. We did all the Everdens that we came across. We got, um, we aren't able to get this treasure chest for some reason. Um, we got a lot of stuff done. So, um, also we um, triggered a cutscene where we had to beat one of. Oh, let's see if I can find it here. We had to beat one of these. It was a um, like a a red one, kind of like one of these. How these things were bosses. It was a boss version of, a, of one of those because there was a giant hole in the ground. It was glowing, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we, that's where we also met our new partner here, who is Avenia. Uh, Naviru knows her, so I'm assuming she is from the original Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter Stories game. Um, so she's our new partner, and she is actually really good. She does a lot of healing. She's got a hunting horn. Um, we're a big fan of her, so um, we're going to keep on keeping on. We're going to go this way. I was avoiding going this way before until we were done, but now we're done exploring. So here we go. We are about to enter the new town. Get all this stuff. bunch of different windmills, got a huge bridge. Got a cutscene before we cross the bridge. That's a little sussy sus. Oh, no, guess not. Okay. It's a pretty little village. So many windmills. gonna happen. I'm excited to hatch all of our eggs and see all of the new equipment that we've unlocked and what we can upgrade it with. Okay. Also, yeah, we did a bunch of quests. Um, it looks like we can go ahead and do some more. So... Let's just do a couple real quick. Might as well. Um, oh, another thing. We did this tournament mode thing. Uh, we won. It was it was just against NPCs, and we got a bronze ticket. So, um, we're not really sure. I'm not really sure what that's going to be for. I always say we. I don't know why I always say we, like I'm two people. Um, okay, so we need to go to Melink Sink first. And the reason being is that if we're gonna hatch all 12 of these new eggs, we need to make sure we've got the space. We should have a ton of bottle caps. We have 211 bottle caps. Good lord! Okay, yeah, we definitely get this then. Um, 
211. That is bonkers. We're gonna buy all the nutriments. Also, I'm gonna buy this, uh, not this. Oh, Timnoceran? What the hell is a Timnoceran? Uh, might as well buy this. I want to buy, uh, wait, what is that? Oh, that could be interesting. We, we need one that's for like a flying wyvern or something. We need to unlock gene slots for our Tigrex. We have done a lot of rite right of channeling with our Tigrex. Um, so he knows some stuff. Let's see what we've got. Red Pincer, what the heck? Daimyo Hermitor, I don't even know what that is. Yo, it's got some crazy attack though. 67? Didn't unlock a new hammer, didn't unlock a new hunting horn. We did unlock a new bow. And it's a giant fish. Oh my god. We have Spear Tuna and Zamtrios material. It would be interesting if we got this um, and used it. <laughs> that would be comical. Yo, the corn popper though? Mmm. I kind of love this. Uh, that's awesome. I kind of want it. We're gonna see what else we've unlocked first at the at the smithy before we commit to buying anything from here that's like weapons or armor. Got purple Ludroth armor. Yo, that is so pretty. We haven't even ran into a purple loot draw. What is that? Yo. I want this armor. I want it real bad. I don't know if we can upgrade it though. I don't know if we found a bubble pumpkin. I don't know what a bumble pumpkin is. Um. I guess we can check. Let's check our inventory, see if we've got a, a bumble pumpkin. Um, let's see, bumble pumpkin. So far, no. We got a bunch of heft corn, though. We only have one spear tuna. Um, we have a shark tuna. Not seeing any bumble pumpkins. It looks like these are all going to be monster parts. Yeah, so we don't have any bumble pumpkins. Damn. That would have been cool to have if we could upgrade it. But we cannot. Okay, let's check out what we've unlocked. Forge. Let's start with the armor. Oh, yeah, by the way, we beat up a Zenogre. Zenogre is one of the royal monsters for this area, and we beat it. So, we do have a Zenogre egg. I'm super stoked about that. Um, Shakalaka? We don't know what the hell a Shakalaka is. Um, what is a Shakalaka? That's really good armor. That is really, really, really good armor. Um, we really want that armor. Let's look at what else we've unlocked first, though. Okay, so we've already got this and this and this. Okay, this is new. Let's start, let's just do category by category. Um, those aren't new. Oh yeah, we, we unlocked the Baroth armor. We did find a catch of Watcha. Um, they're very interesting looking, so we unlocked its armor. Divine Blessing and Evasion, that's not bad. Um, Baroth armor is good. Rathians starts at 62, so let's keep that in mind. Um, 
Baroth. We did find a Baroth. Um, okay, Zenogre, Keizu, you. Oh yeah, we found a red Keizu in one of the Everdens. We haven't even found a regular one yet. So that's interesting. Um, we have Gypsuros armor. That looks kind of neat. It's got anti venom, anti venom, and thunder defense, but it's weak. Um, oh yeah, we found a jade Baroth as well. We've ran into so many do things. I wish I would have recorded it, but it would have been so boring for everybody to see. So I'm sure we'll run into more stuff in the future, but you'll be able to see what eggs we got, because I know we got eggs of some of these things. Um, yo, the Zamtrios, though? That looks sick. I love that armor. Rathian starts at 62, though. But that Zamtrios armor is so cool. Hmm. I don't know what it would upgrade to. Uh, obituary armor. Armor holding the power of the Insect King. This looks pretty cool, too. Um, and then we've got our, our neutral armor. So we got alloy armor, great baggy, Kongalala armor, Konga armor, black belt armor. Oh, that's from the ticket. Okay. Um, and that's 77. That's not bad. We might, we might actually want to get that. Uh, and it only takes a ticket. We'll see if we've got any weapons that are unlocked with the ticket before we commit. Uh, the Tigrex armor, obviously, is going to be really good, too. I don't know if we've got a Hermitor or not, though. Um, but that could be really good. I don't know what armor we're going to go with yet. I guess we're going to have to see what weapons are available first. So, for Sword and Shield... Um, we already had the Hidden Edge. We're rocking out with the maxed uh, Great Sword of the Ludroth right now, which is like 58 damage or something. So let's see what we've unlocked. Um, we may be able to upgrade this now. Because we have one. And that could be good. So we'll think about it. Uh, we got the Baryoth. We got the... Oh, yo. I love that. Look how cool that looks. That is so cool. 49 base ice damage too. That's really cool. Uh, and then of course we've got the Anjaneth piece, which is nice as well. 57 base, huge damage. And then the Zenogre, which is just bonkers. 102 base attack. Good lord. Um, okay, for... For the uh, great swords, uh, we found one of these in a chest. This is the Ketchawacha sword. We found one of these in a, in a chest while we were exploring around. Base 52, it's not quite as good as the fully upgraded uh, Cataclysm sword, which is what we have. Um, and then, of course, the Tigrex great sword, which mm, I don't know, could be good. We've also got the Tigrex hammer, base 92. And then we've got... Oh, okay, this is a hammer from Melling Sink. What is this made from? Gypsaros. Okay. So that could be good. Um, the hammer looks cool, too. Yo, this Zamtrio stuff looks awesome. I'm loving it. I'm loving the Zamtrio stuff. Um... 2,000% are we going to get this. Look at that. It's literally glowing. Can, what, what is the Shaka Laka? As soon as we figure that out and we get the materials, 
we're buying this. Like, I don't care. It's so good. Uh, we got the Kangalala War Drum. This looks kind of neat, too. 12% chance to poison, 47 base. Got the catch a watch -a thing, which just looks like a catch a watch -a with symbols on it. That is so funny. That's kind of adorable. Base 52. Uh, nothing else new is unlocked. That's really cute. But I love this. Yo, the other... The other... Uh, this doesn't glow. It's so cool. Uh, we got the bow for the Zenogre. We can't make it any of the Zenogre stuff because we don't have Shaka Laka material. We got the Tigrex bow. Cephalos. I feel like we've beaten a Cephalos now. But I don't know. Uh, if so, we may end up getting it. We got the Kangalala bow, base 51. We've got the... <laughs> that looks sick. The Zamtrio stuff just looks so good. That's uh, the ice one, okay. This just looks so freaking awesome. Imagine us being decked out in this kind of stuff. Like, come on. We would look badass. For sure. Um, gun lances, which we are enjoying. Barrios, hard hitter. Okay, that's from the Gypsy Rose. Ten percent chance to poison. Thirty-four base. Ours is a thirty base. Ours has a higher crit rate though, because it's a Nargakuga item. Nargakuga weapons have higher crit. Um. But it's got that poison on it. And then we've got this, which looks like Kachawacha. Ariagata. Yeah, Kachawacha. 38 base. 52 base. 77 base. We gotta go with the Tiger Expo, right? Have we beat a Cephalos? No, we haven't. Okay. That's unfortunate. So we really can't make any of the Tigrex or Zenogre stuff right now until we find out what the hell a Cephalos is. We can make some of this Santrio stuff though. Um, let's see what we can upgrade. Can we upgrade... Okay, so if we upgrade this, its maximum is 53. Ours max right now is 58. But this has 14% crit. Um, oh yeah, we found this in a chest too. Isn't that freaking awesome looking? It looks so neat. But we don't even... Like, we haven't fought any of this stuff. Okay, so if we upgrade this... Oh, I haven't found a Nursilla yet, so I can't. Well, damn. I think we're a little bit stuck here. Let's look at the armor, and let's decide on some armor. Our current armor is 81, with a Den Protector and Health Boost. Uh, Den Protector... Let's see. Yeah, Den Protector boosts the retreat rate, which has been super helpful. And Health Boost increases our HP. Oh man. Um, okay, 81. Let's see. But it starts out as 62. So none of this is close to that, except for maybe Anjanath, but we don't want the abilities that it has. Uh, Ketcha, maybe? 51 defense, but it's got Divine Blessing and Evasion. Uh, the Keizu armor wouldn't be bad, but I don't really need Thunder Boost. I definitely don't want the Gypsaurus stuff. Um, the Barioth might not be bad. Ice Boost, what's potential do? Boost defense by a good amount when I'm at 50% or less. The Zamtrios is a lot less, but it's got Cold Resistance and it boosts Ice Damage. So the skills aren't that helpful. Hmm. I don't know. 
The obituary armor isn't good either. Only 47 base defense. Um, what's some of this stuff? 52, 55, 52, 77. 86. But again, we can't make it. You know what? Um... Let's make this black belt stuff just to see what it takes to upgrade it because that may be our best option right now. We need a silver ticket which we don't have yet but it would it would take it to 85 and we're wearing something that we can currently upgrade to 88. Um, you know what, we'll play around with this off camera in between videos. I'm going to have to do some upgrading and a little bit of research on, on stats and stuff. Um, but we're kind of just wasting time right now. So let's go to the stables and let's hatch our new monsties because I've been waiting this entire time to hatch these new monsties. And I am so excited. I know what a few of them are. I'll show you. Okay, so we know that this is Anjanath. This is Baryoth. Or Baroth. This is Jade Baroth. I think this is Red Keizu. I can't remember what this is. This is Zenogre. I can't remember what this is. Uh, I think that's a Popo. I don't know what this is. And this is the Zamite. So let's just go for it. Let's hatch it all right now. I'm so excited for this. Yo, the Zam trios. Okay. Oh, and he's got a rainbow gene. Yeah, some of these are rainbow. Some of them are gold. Most of them are at least some kind of rarity. Do we already hatch with a bingo? That's cracked. We got an Anjanath, okay. Baroth, alright. Lagombi. Okay. That's interesting. I had a feeling he was gonna be in this game. That's kinda cool. Oh my god, look at the little baby Popo. He's so cute. Great baggy, okay. Another Anjanath. The little baby Anjanaths are so cute. Another Barra. This one was Rainbow. Jade Barra. It looks so cool! And it's a totally different typing. It's an ice type. It's so neat! I love the look of this thing. I hope it's got some useful skills because I would love to have this on the team just because of how it looks. It looks so cool. Red Keizu. Okay. Gypsaros. Okay. Just a regular one, I guess. Zen Ogre. Oh man! I'm stoked for Zen Ogre. It's gonna be another Tigrex, basically. Um, but he's he's like actually gonna be on the team. Like he's gonna be on the team with Tigrex, because they're different attackers. Tigrex is speed, and this guy I think is like power or something? Oh no, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's speed too. Unfortunate that he didn't hatch with the rainbow gene, but we can fix that. Um, that's awesome. That is so cool. <laughs> I'm so excited. Look at all of our new stuff. Okay, so Jade Baroth has bug search and ground dive. Immediately, he's going to replace Bar Basarios. Like, 
no question. Um, we just have to make sure we got our other stuff covered first before we start switching stuff around. So we got regular Bearoth, same thing. Lagombi has Dash and Rock Breaker. Interesting. Potential replacement for our blue Yon Cuckoo. We've rocked out with blue Yon for a while now, though. Um. Zenogar has. Oh my god, Zenogar has jump. We're replacing Bing Pot. I'm so sorry, but Bing Pot versus Zenogar. 2000% is an ogre. Like, <laughs> no question. Like, look, look at the 141 HP at level 22. 80 HP at level 1. Level 1. 80 HP. Like, that's, that's broken. He's gonna be thick. Okay, um, what else do we got? Um, we got a couple Yon Garugas here. The Zamtrios, okay. Rainbow Jean, Warming Jean? Cold Resist negates Frostbite, okay. Dude, all we gotta do is put something here that's blue and he gets like three more bingos. That's really good. What's he got? Swim and Monster Search. Okay. Um, we're gonna replace Ludroth with this one, because I think it's gonna be more useful. Um, I don't know... Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Or I'm excited to use the new Monsty. Uh, this guy's got Roar. Press B to ferociously intimidate creatures within earshot. That's interesting. Okay, let's look at our power mons, because... Right now, the only power guy we've got is Ratha, and we've got three technical creatures on our team, and we don't need three. Um. Oh, that's right, Jade Barioth is gonna replace Basarios. So we've got two power, two technical, two speed. Um, and we've got Dash. Okay, we don't really need Dash. We've got Ivy Climb, Swim. Rock Breaker, Jump, and Ground Dive. And then whatever the hell Ratha is. I'm guessing Fly. Um, we don't have Roar and we don't have Stealth. It'd be nice to put Nargakuga back on the team. I don't know who I'd replace. I could replace Blue Yon Kuku for him. But we don't need another Speed Monsty because we have a Zenogre and Tigrex, which far outperform Nargakuga. Uh, Nargakuga has got crazy, crazy crits. Um, really good attack. Look, look at that. 149 attack. And Tigrex has 193 and he's level 22. So, like, they are neck and neck basically on stats. Um, and Nargakuga is even a little bit faster. But Tigrex performs better. He's got a broader move set. We've put some work into him. So I just don't think Nargakuga fits on the team anymore, unfortunately. Let's see what tech guys we can use. Um, huh. Okay, let's quit our party real quick. Because... We've got non-elemental. We've got ice. Tigrex can deal poison damage. BT dubs. We added that feature. We gave him a poison gene from the Rathian we had. Since we weren't going to be using Rathian, since Tigrex is better, we took her poison gene and gave it to Tigrex so that we could still have a poison monster. Pro plays. So now he's got a broader use. Um, and it's non-elemental damage, which he excels at. And he's got four non-elemental bingos, so they literally his elemental damage, or non-elemental damage, is 130% right now. Crazy. Anywho, 
Um, okay, we've got non-elemental plus poison. We've got ice. We've got uh, fire. Yo, he is like hella blank. Look at that. We can just customize the crap out of this dude. We've got thunder. This guy does ice as well. And then this is fire, poison. So... Can this guy paralyze? Yeah. Low chance. Medium when he gets to 30. Jesus. So... If we replace blue Yon Cuckoo, we not only need a rock breaker, but we need to make sure it's somebody who can do burns without using Ratha, because Ratha's burns, um... Oh, I think I have to unlock those. I don't, I don't have, I don't have fire burn on him yet, for some reason. I think I have to unlock that, because he's part of the story. So we need somebody to do burn damage. Um... Which, right now... See, he deals thunder, poison, uh, this does fire, he does burn proof, his fireball medium at level 8. Oh, it's the same skill, blaze ball. He's got poison and fire. Ooh, do we use Yangaruga? He's got Rock Breaker. Oh no, he doesn't. He has the question mark. That's why we haven't used him yet. So who has Rock Breaker in the technical category? Oof. Nobody. Okay, so what if it's not a technical monsty? What if we use somebody else? Let's see. Anybody here got Rock Breaker? Legombi, but that's another ice type and we don't need three of them. Um Arza Rose. He's got Rock Breaker. But we don't have a good one. He's got Dash, Plant Search, blah blah blah. Roar. I wouldn't mind rocking with an Anjanath, but we don't need Roar. Yeah, so it looks like until we find a better rock-breaking monsty, um, we're gonna have to stick with this team for now. But we've changed out like four of our monsties. So this looks, our team looks kind of cracked. Like, look at this: Tigrex, Zamtria. We got a giant tiger dragon. We got a huge shark creature. We got a big blue chicken. We got like a thunder dog. People call it a dog, but it looks like, I don't even know, like a bear. Um, I guess it could be a dog. It's a very weird looking dog. We got whatever the hell bear off is supposed to be. And then just a dragon, like a big red creepy dragon. We have so many things going on. Um, I have ran out of drank. Oh, here it is. Excuse me, okay. Um, are we gonna break Tigrex? Let's see. Yeah, we probably, yeah. Yeah, bo show. Boost retreat rate of slain monsters by a good amount. But we need to unlock his gene slot. Um, we need to unlock. I don't know if we have what it takes. Yeah, I don't have a 
applying wyvern stimulant. Damn. <clears throat> I don't want to override anything. If I override stuff, we lose a bingo. But I want that. I want this gene. That big blue gene right there. Um. We... We have a lot of right of channeling to do. Got a rainbow gene. We, we got so much. Is a gold gene on both of these? I'm guessing that's what a rare gene is, if it's gold like that. We have so much stuff to do. Ah, okay. <clears throat> There's a lot of stuff to do. Um, I may end up streaming it later this evening. I don't know yet. I may just do a sled. Let's do this quest, though. What's gonna happen now? Wings of Ruin? So you're telling me Ratha here is behind all these strange happenings lately? No way! I don't believe that! By the way, I know sometimes during the cutscenes the sound gets weird. Like, you hear it double. It's because for some reason it's coming from my headphones and the game itself. Like, I'm, I'm using... Um, I'm using a headset for the audio, like for my mic, and to listen to the game. Um, and I don't have it turned up very loud at all. But somehow it still picks up the game audio from the headset, but also it picks up game audio from the game itself. It's very strange. I don't know how to fix it, so... Um, sorry that it sounds weird sometimes. I'll admit... It kind of looks like the Rathalos from the legend, though. If you didn't believe it, why do you want to find a way to suppress its power? That's why I try and mute myself during the cutscenes. Well, you see, uh... I didn't come across you by chance, you know. Huh? Frostfang sensed something. I followed him, and that's how I found you. We still don't know what kind of power Ratha holds. We must understand what it was that Guardian Ratha wanted to bestow on us. So... Come at me, if you want to. But I don't like Rathalos. Like, in general, the monster Rathalos... Not my favorite. I know it's like... The... The, uh, mascot monster of this whole genre of Monster Hunter. Like, Rathalos. And then, of course, you got the Elder elder Dragon spell. Like, Rathalos is like, it's like Pikachu of Monster Hunter. But, uh, I just, I just don't like it. I don't like its coloring. It's just a, just a dragon. Like, I'm not, I'm not a big fan. It's not my favorite. One of my favorite monsties is, um, Nergigante. Love Nergigante. So freaking cool. And I like Toby Kadachi. I love Toby Kadachi. He's so cool. Uh, but yeah, not a not not a fan of not a fan of Rathalos. I see. So you want to understand what Ratha is capable of? <laughs> exactly. Say, Avinia, mind letting us stay here for a while? Sorry, what? Please let us stay in Kuan Village! Only until we find old Day Day! Please. It's imperative that we speak with him. I mean, you can't stop us from staying in a town. Like, <sighs> I can literally wreck you. Fine then. If you can promise not to inconvenience not anyone in the village. Inconvenience, but I'm doing you a favor by staying in this village. I keep your village safe, okay? Like, don't at me. There's another pit over on snow-clad Mount Lavina. That strange light was seen coming from there. 
another new area? It has unsettled everyone in Kuan. People are worried that our village might be destroyed again. Again? You lost your village before? What? Have you heard about the Black Blight? I mean, it's been mentioned by Naviru, but I don't know much about it. I, I, I did not play the full first, full first game. I have. The ecosystem became unbalanced, giving rise to the Black Blight, which sent monsters into a rage. Okay, that's interesting. Well, my village was blighted into nothingness. I'm so sorry to hear that. Avinia, don't worry. We won't be causing any trouble. Promise. But if trouble just happens to strike, we'll step in to help. Isn't that right, buddy? Thanks. You arrived at a good time, actually. There's something I wanted to discuss with a fellow rider. Would you mind lending me a hand? Looks like she's got the female Zamtrios armor on. It looks really cool. A paw in my case, but sure thing. Or at least right. a variant of it. First, please go say hi to the village chief. Got it. Okay, so now we gotta go talk to chief. <clears throat> Let's do that real quick. Kind of wasted a bunch of time just staring at weapons and armor, so <laughs> I want to do some actual stuff. Hmm. Auspicious winds are blowing. Auspicious winds are blowing. Excuse us. Is this the village chief's house? Ah. So you're looking for the chief? Yep. Do you know who that is? You're looking at him. <laughs> Look at his face. He looks so jolly. Hold up. You're the chief? The one and only. Hmm. Let me guess. You must be Avinia's friends. Why does he have a shovel? Precisely. Um, chief, sir. <laughs> we'd like to stay in your fine village for a while, if that's okay. Why does he always have a barrel? He just happens course, to carry a barrel around with him. Ours is yours, my friends. Hammer space, I, I guess. Something good would happen today. Stay as long as you like. Offering you hospitality is the least I can do to repay you. <gasps> What's he talking about? Repay us? But we uh, didn't do anything. You can't hide it from me. A Rathalos rider accompanied by an unusual feline? You're the folks who save the world from the Black Blight. Oh, that's right. The Black Blight hero also rode a Rathalos. See, I'm telling you, Rathalos is everywhere. Not a big fan. It's like, come on, pick a new monster. <laughs> pick something original. Like, oh, come on. <clears throat> So you're saying you know who I am? But of course, everyone in Kuan Village does. Oh my wow. god. <laughs> I didn't realize I was this famous. Now that the cat's out of the bag, I won't deny it. It's me, the legendary feline Naviru. So you weren't just boasting when you said you're a legendary feline. Um, hello? I told you that before, right? Did you take me for a liar? Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> That's awfully <awkward>, rude. <laughs> She's like, yeah, bro, you're talking about you. Yeah. This isn't the same rider who. <clears throat> and chief, my good man. If you need help with anything, just ask us. Monster research, rebuilding the village, you. Wonderful. I'll be sure to take you up on that. Whatever it is, just let us know. Right, buddy? And he's like, uh... I'm glad to have you here, my friends. Hmm, I wonder why Naviru is not telling him the truth. It's a little sketch. But alright. 
expedition party has been added to the stables. Okay. Oh, look at the little kitty cat. Oh, look at the one in the little dress. With the what this looks like a little snowman. That's so cute. Your head's so big. You don't look much like other felines. Oh my goodness. And my palicos. <laughs> They're like totally ignoring copyright. I'm not even the right guy. What is happening here? Okay, so where are we meeting? Oh, hot mist? Yes, okay, thanks. I do need some hot mist. Um, I don't know how to make it yet, and we don't have cold resistant armor yet, so... Side quest, we'll take it. <laughs> um, hot mist is great now, but you really... Really want to be uh, try wearing Zamtrio's armor. Well, we're probably going to. <laughs> That's probably what we'll end up doing, honestly. Um, I at least want to. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some research on. Oh, it looks like my game and stuff froze. Um. That's unfortunate. I'm hoping the recording is still going, but the uh, we're gonna do some research on the on the armors and see what they end up upgrading to. Okay, it's it's not frozen anymore. I I hope the audio came through okay there because oh it froze again. Um, not really sure what's going on, but it keeps locking up and freezing. So... so uh, okay, so we have to talk to the chief to initiate this quest. So since it's not an area, I can't I don't have to risk like walking over here and triggering something. I'm gonna end the episode off here. Um, I'm gonna do some some research and stuff on the armor and see which armor set is going to be best for us. I'm just going to see what's got the better defense and whatnot. And then we will be fully decked out, new gear. Um, might even do a little bit of, of leveling on some of our new monsties. Uh, maybe a little bit of right of channeling. Um, so look forward to that. Make sure you check out the next episode. The playlist for the entire series is in the description below. So don't forget to do that. Um, hit the like and subscribe button, and if you want to know when we post more videos like this one or when we go live, make sure you hit the notification bell. And down in the comment section, let me know out of all of the monsties that we got today in this episode alone, which one was your favorite. Go back and check. Go back and look at which ones we hatched, and let me know which one out of all of them is your favorite. Um... And, or let me know what you think about the whole Rathalos Pikachu, basically, situation. Uh, but anyhow, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see ya. Bye.